Okay, everyone, uh, good morning. This is first thing in the morning, and it's not a photo critique. This one is for uh, Elisa Adams. It says, Hi, Dom. I really, I really wanted to send you some of my photos for a critique, but since I do so many different subjects, I'm limiting them just to portraits. So here you go. You have permission to use my photos and critique them as harshly as you want. Ooh. Okay. Um, okay, uh, the only thing is all these are quite small, they're just stuck into uh, the email, which is good, means it's easier for me and quicker for me, but uh, I can't see the full detail of them. Okay, harsh as you want, hmm, okay. Uh, okay, first shot, uh, this is a shot of my son Ashton, who is six years old and is often my model for trying to, oh, you've got to use your family, yes, uh, yes, my, my girlfriend, uh, is always getting used for my photography and uh, same with your friends, just gotta just like just use them all the time um, and trying out new techniques and setting up my the only thing is it gets annoying whenever they start to get blinded because you put the flash in their face too much. Anyway, um, set up my, uh, my lighting for an appointment in a studio aka my dining room. Okay, so you're doing studio in your dining room. Okay, this one is fine. Um, let's see if we, okay, so it looks like you're using a little beauty dish uh, up there and I, the cool thing is you can tell that this is a very, very dark room because its irises, uh, no, its pupils are really dilated. So that means that the room is naturally very dark and you've pretty much lit them only by the light that's coming from this flash. And you can probably tell that as well because the background is fairly dark. So you're really, I'm guessing you're really just using a single flash going on here. Um, so yeah, that works fine. Shadow uh, under the chin is fine as well there. Uh, he's got his hands up. Yeah, okay, his hands are on, or his chin is on his hands. But yeah, he doesn't look like he's tired or bored. So he's got a little smile kind of going on with him as well. Uh, the crop you've done is quite an interesting... The, oh, okay, wait, the more I look at it... It's starting to look like he has a giant head and a and a tiny body. Um, is that just an optical illusion that I'm seeing there? So, so he's obviously leaning towards the camera. But it really looks like he's just got a giant head. Okay, all kids do have giant heads. Especially, well, a six-year-old, is their head so giant? Yeah, I suppose, I suppose he does have a giant head. Um, so, yeah, that works. Uh, but yeah, it just looks a little bit, initially shot, great, lovely, lovely, looks fine, soft lighting all over him, looks, looks great, but if I stare at that too long, I'm thinking just like, massive head, big head, um, okay, and the next one is, the next thing to critique is uh, the logo down at the bottom, it really does take a lot of space up there, so, uh, you could maybe layer that, or is that is it photo? Is it layered so you can see is that bit of his cloth or something there? Uh, I don't know. I'll see that in the next image. Okay, next one. Okay, this is a group of musicians, the Trevor Rass Trio. We wanted some photos taken for their most recent uh, album called Blue Sky. Hence, the blue sky uh, in the cup. Oh, right in the blue sky in the cup. Trevor Rass is holding. Is that a clever bit of photoshopping that you've done there, or is that a, a cup? Uh, okay, uh, first of all, I like it. I think the, the shot is cool, um, however, what you've told me is now slightly confusing me. Um, so, I can't... That doesn't look like any cup I have ever seen. Uh, I That looks really like something... It must have been like a really old-fashioned kind of cup thing. Uh, so, the only thing I see is that the props used are slightly distracting. Um, and if you hadn't told me that that was a blue sky, I wouldn't realise that that was a blue sky. So this is where something I think maybe if it was maybe somebody's uh, silver sunglasses and it had a blue sky on it. Or maybe if it was them with a blue sky behind them uh, and it was like shooting up into them and they were just like looking away, looking all kind of... Yes, we're in a band. Uh, yeah, Ooh. um, and um, then there's a lovely blue sky behind them. That that might work, but here it's just uh, like I'm loving the Dutch angle that you've done. I'm loving the shallow depth of field. I'm loving the uh, his kind of connection with the camera. 
and the other guys uh, either side, yeah, how they're nice and blurry, but looking away, uh, he looks um, very much like uh, some comedian. We was in old school, uh, the other one, and he looks like a British comedian called Alan Carr, I think. Um, so, so yeah, the, it kind of looks like a tree of comedians. But uh, yeah, no, he looks cool. They look cool. Uh, their outfits look good. The colour, the saturation, uh, I quite like. It goes well with it. It's, you've kind of given it an orangey, kind of desaturated uh, look a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, the the main critique here is the slightly obscure blue sky in a cup, uh, which isn't totally obvious whenever I see that at all. Um, and again, I think the Lisa... Was it Lisa Mary imagery? Okay, it is kind of see-through, yeah, because you can see in between this guy's legs. Um, what I would say is make it more see-through. Um, I think you don't really need a logo that has a big fo camera on it um, for people to know you're a photographer. I think just having just Lisa, uh, Lisa imagery there instead of the big square, because I find that a little bit distracting. Like, if I look at that picture, I really notice it from here. Um, so yeah, that. but otherwise, very cool, very cool, like a lot. Okay, next one. Just a shot. Uh, this is just a shot near the end of a couple's session, relaxing at Green Lake, Seattle. Okay, yeah, definitely. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, what's going on here? You have a different shape logo. Uh, this is kind of a square logo. I would say always try and have consistency in your logoing. Um, you'll see pretty much in all my videos I'll have Don Bauer uh, photography, I think. Don Bauer photos or something. Um, at the top or the bottom of my videos. And it's the same on the YouTube channel. If you go to the top, it's there. If you go to my website, it's exact same. It's always the same dimension or things. Um, so don't kind of, I would say don't go for one's a square one, one's a long one, one's an angled one. Just try and keep it and so it has consistency between every single image here. Okay, but um, other than that, the actual shot, okay, nice blurry background, looks like they're at a park. The only thing is, I'd say, it doesn't look like an uh, a interesting day, as in uh, the lighting here, where is the light coming from? It's coming from just behind, because you can see the, or just behind over here, as you can see the light is stronger on her far side of her face, so you're having lovely short lighting, and you've got him there, and he's staring down, and she's kind of looking away, um, so yeah, it's it's pretty nice, ooh, wait a minute, broken foot, broken, that's a really twisted ankle, wow, looks slightly uncomfortable, um, but uh, but yeah, no, that is like, the, what I would say is obviously something which you can't control or anything like that, is uh, the position of the sun. Also, you've got a slight person in the background, ghost subject, uh, which would be good to maybe clone out, um, or even if you use like maybe a, a strong vignette, you could probably get rid of that. Um, but, so yeah, yeah, I, I would say uh, it works. Um, you've got nice shallow depth of field again. I would actually probably add a, just a touch of a vignette as well. Um, just maybe just so that bit's a little bit darker and also maybe just crop out this little bit there because that's like da -da 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 -da, and then a little bit going on afterwards. So just a tiny little bit of a crop and a bit of a vignette and a cloning of that person and a, just a watching of the model's foot uh, there because again the more I look at it the more I'm like ow, ow, feet aren't meant to bend that way or am I seeing it in the wrong position or something? What am I? That is like his toe there and that's his ankle there. I don't think my feet do that. I don't think people's feet are meant to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, and then just uh, kind of be more consistent with the logo as well. Uh, okay, next one. Oh, it's quite a big picture. Okay, this is Guy playing a guitar. Uh, this is from a smallish concert held at our favourite winery. Brilliant. Uh, Icicle Ridge in Per, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, featuring local music musician who was also a friend and uh, a friend of the winemaker. Um, okay, that's good. Yeah, I like the vignetting that you've given here. Again, you've got nice shallow depth of field to the point where I don't know if that's motion blur, but I don't think that is. Like the front of his guitar is blurry. Uh, Meanwhile, well, he is in tack sharp focus. That looks good. 
Um, background is a little bit distracting, so these bits here are all a little bit too distracting. So maybe if you had it in an even lower position, and he was just directly behind this kind of canopy that was there, that'd be good. Or if you were a little bit higher up, or maybe just from some other angle where it was didn't have all these speckled, because you've got these bright bits of the guitar bit here. What do you call that? The neck? No, the knobs. The knobs of the guitar. Uh, they're bright and dark, and then you've got the speckled of the background. So this is where something maybe like a bit of colour would come in handy to really separate, because the tones are obviously the same, um, but the colours are obviously uh, different, because that'd be green, that'd be brown, something. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. And then your logo down at the bottom again. Uh, again, kind of going for your square logo there, I think. Uh, but this is something where I think having your logo maybe up at the top, uh, like just kind of a nice little thin narrow logo up there uh, would be quite good as well. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's that's all right. That's cool. And next one, this is from an engagement session on the Seattle waterfront uh, with a sweet couple whose wedding I'll be photographing in July. Well, first of all, it's a very uh, attractive couple. Well, kind of. She is. She's very cute. Um, and, okay, what have we got here? We've got great shallow depth of field, we've got her looking straight into the camera and him looking uh, off to the right. She's very pretty. And, uh, but what I would say is, this is where you've got to really give your models a lot of direction. If she's going to be having her cheek on his shoulder, she shouldn't actually put any weight on her cheek. Like if you end up putting her, you squish up all your face, which you can see here, by the mega dimples that have been squished up uh, from his shoulder squishing into her cheek. So that's where you do effectively a fake head lean. So you just have your head there and it's just, just touching uh, the shoulder. And that's what you just got to tell them to do because they obviously don't know these different kind of things. Again, they probably won't notice uh, this thing, but um, it's something which if you stare at it for long enough, you kind of go, oh, she's got like some nuts in her mouth. Hmm. Um, and uh, so yeah, so, but in other words, I would say composition is very nice. Uh, what I am finding is this bit is a little bit distracting here because it is super blurry behind and then there's the, the split. Ooh. Ah, where is it? Then there's a split and then that's kind of sharp. So this is something which I would say probably even cropping in again. Uh, so let's say we take it off. How can I show you? So if we have it like that. I would say that would be the better shot. So more of a square shot there. Uh, you're cropping out that bit there. Yeah, that bit is definitely just, this is distracting me. Um, make the model so she's not actually shoving her cheek against uh, his shoulder. And and then you've got a top shot there. Yeah, they look, they look like a very lovely couple. That would be, that'd be a good wedding to get shots of. Um, okay, next one. Ooh. This is from a maternity shoot. Ah, I call it a bump shoot. Um, and uh, this is from a maternity shoot, one and one of my favourites, just because it feels so intimate and serene. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Uh, again, really, really distracted by your, your logo down here. Uh, it's big, bright and pink. Uh, it's square, lots of space, and then your tiny uh, words in the middle. So yeah, definitely squeeze that down, get it so it's just your logo, I think it'd be good. Um, uh, lighting here, okay, we've certainly gone from an above uh, lighting shot, uh, and it is obviously like totally, um, you've gone for a low key. Now, uh, low key is where it's uh, generally it's all in the lower parts here, but I would say a black background is cool with this kind of shot, but I would say definitely enhance their their brightness. Um, so make it so that they are high key, but it's obviously a back a black background. Because um, having it low key, it kind of, okay, yeah, I, I understand what you're going here, going, it's uh, intimate and serene. So it's kind of like, it's their little time, it's their little thing. But I think for, a more of a beautiful rather than intimate, uh, I would enhance the the mid-tones, which is kind of what colour they are. If you enhance the mid-tones, the black will still stay black, but all the colour that they are will become a lot whiter. Having them a lot whiter will, although this is a very small image, it kind of smooths out the skin a lot more. 
Um, and I think that if it was my choice, I would probably up up it a little bit. Um, here is is a little bit dark, but it's cool. I like the idea. Uh, he's kind of behind her. He's holding her boobs. Uh, she's holding her belly, and uh, he's nuzzled into her neck, and she's like that. It'd be quite cool as well. I'd like to see a shot of her looking straight into the camera, but would that then be creepy? I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah. So you know, the, the, these are good shots. I like these. I also like the ones where the, maybe the mother is looking down at her tummy, or maybe he is over her shoulder looking at the tummy, thinking, "That's my baby. That's going to be my little sprawl coming out there." So. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure you took probably hundreds of different kind of shots here, but if this is your favourite, I would say, yeah, definitely, you've got it right with the, it is serene, is it serene that like you said? What, what was the term? Serene. Yeah, serene. Never really used that word before. Um, but yeah, so that is a good one. Uh, I like the lighting as well. Uh, it's kind of just, it looks like it's a single light source. The one other tip I would say is see if you've got the guy in the shot just before he does any of these photo things get him to do 20, 30, 40, 50 press ups beforehand he'll love it because then afterwards his arms will be totally pumped give him a minute for like the blood to get back out of his face but then later on he'll look at the photos and he'll go oh yeah my guns were massive um, so yeah definitely get him to do some press ups get him to do some sit ups uh, or something so, certainly if he's got his arms wrapped around uh, his his uh, wife or mother of child, um, yeah. If he could pump his guns just before he goes, that he would probably like that afterwards. Um, and it gives the guy something to do while the woman's getting ready and in position, and you're setting up while you're lighting. So that's good. Yeah. Okay, I like that as well. Okay, I hope uh, you have enough to work here and you'll be willing to critique my images. Of course I am. Thank you so much for your hard work, Dom. I hope to hear from you soon. Okay. So yeah, in total, I would say. Um, Work on the logo. That's probably my biggest thing. Um, you've got the skills here. You've got the you've got the know how. Um, you've got the communication uh, with the the people as well. You've got these engagement shots. Uh, it's just the tiny things which I would say you've got to be careful for. For example, uh, odd person in the background. Um, you've got the the cup which I can't understand as a cup. Uh, you've got uh, the giant head child. Uh, <laughs> sorry, um, and uh, and then again, this one just definitely just that cropping off of getting rid of this kind of slightly confusing bit here. Um, but yeah, that was good. Set with him looking into image. Yeah, good. Like angles, everything good. And this one, I think the more I look at it, the more I like it. But I definitely, if it was my choice, I would up the contrast. Well, up the mid tones to make it a little bit brighter. I think. I think. I don't know. I haven't got this image. Maybe if you have the raw image, send it to me and I'll see how I would edit it uh, in kind of a reverse Dropbox editing challenge that I did. Anyway, okay, that's been going on for ages. Um, okay, hope that helps uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that, Lisa. Uh, wait a minute, it says Lisa, but yet your logo says Lisa Mary images. Lisa Adams. Oh, you're confusing me. Lisa Adams, Lisa Mary. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay, see you later, bye.